back to student apathy, I know that um, uh, voter turnout wasn't very high last year. Uh, what are some of the things you guys are looking to do to make sure that voter turnout is much larger this next time? Well, actually, the reason why the voter turnout was a little bit low this year is because last year they had like six people running against each other. This year there's only two people. So what that means is that there's only two parties that were able to publicize about the, the election. And also, our parties were very small. Uh, as, you, as you saw, neither, neither of us had a full ticket. So that's why our, our current ASO team is kind of half blue, half gold. So that's why. Um, here at our school, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is required that you have your student ID to vote. That's right. Uh, some people have criticized that in our own elections uh, nationally and statewide. You know, judges have struck down voter ID laws. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your opinion? Oh my god, yes, that's something that we've been talking about. We've actually been wanting to move to having the elections be online. That way it's more accessible, it's just, it's more convenient, it'll be faster, more efficient. But that that's a little bit complicated to do, but that's something definitely that we've been thinking about, it's been on our mind, and we definitely want to change that. And would that only require a voter ID number? I think so, just the student ID number. What's keeping, um, right now, just the on-paper elections from just verifying you based on your number? Oh, um, keeping them from doing that? let's see. You mean just having their yeah, ID card? Yeah, just having a list. And you can yeah, search it. I'm not sure. I guess they just don't. They really don't want people to double vote. They just want it to be as accurate as possible. That's why they have that. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, so you mentioned that you're also the student trustee. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about what that means? Yeah, a lot of people don't know what the student trustee is, but it's it's really cool. You get to sit on the governing board. Um, the governing board meets once a month and they make final decisions about campus. It's a, it's a really um, big position, but the student trustee only has an advisory vote. So when we vote, uh, when I vote, it's just an advisory vote, so I don't really have a direct impact, but they do listen to the student trustee because I definitely represent the students here at Southwestern College. Is there any issue that you would take a hard line against the governing board on if it was brought up and they disagreed with you? Um, <coughs> something you're really passionate about? Well, there was a little issue last month um, with the governing, oh, it's this month, about the pools because we're building, we're going to redo the pools and they wanted to just have two pools, but I thought that we should have three pools because it is in our budget and it would generate revenue um, because we can offer memberships for the pools. And so it was kind of a split vote. I think it was three to two. So I did stand up against that, but definitely I'm not afraid to stand up for them, to them if I have a different opinion than them. Can you, can you talk about the uh, executive positions on the ASO, the vice presidents and all that? Sure. Um, so the ASO is comprised of the president, six vice presidents, and then 22 senators. So we have the executive vice president, who is Jacob Alvarado. He's in charge of the Senate. We have our social vice president, who is Renalyn. She's in charge of the activities, for example, Welcome Week. And then we have um, the VP of Club Affairs, Krista Garrigus. She's in charge of the clubs. And we have Mari Salazar, she's the secretary, executive secretary. And um, we have Matthew Schwimmer, who's the VP of Finance. He just deals with all the ASO budget. And we have Leo Pasqual, he's our vice president for public relations. And that's it. And were all those position fi positions filled in the last uh, election? Yes. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, Sayaka. Is there anything else you want to say? If you see any of us out there with our little ASO name tag, feel free to come up to us, ask us any questions, we'll try our best to answer, and thanks for having me. With the Southwestern Sun newspaper, I'm Mason Macis. Thank you for your time.